chapter 8, lesson 3, is about volumes of cubes and cuboid. Okay, the book calls it cuboid, but it's normally called a rectangular prism. So a cube is a cube. So an irregular cube is a cuboid to them. But um, in, the, in the school where I learned it, it's called prism. Okay, so um, which means uh, it's just, again, a step up from 2D to 3D. So in two-dimensional, we said that a square is a rectangle. But a rectangle is not a square. Okay, so the same thing here. So a cube is a prism or a cuboid. But a cuboid or a prism is not a cube. Therefore, we need to have two separate formulas for volume. Okay, so the volume of a cuboid or a prism is length times breadth times height. Okay, so again, um, if you don't want to use breadth, then you can use width because that's what Ordinarily, it's called, but if we follow the book, it's called breath. So to remove the confusion, we will just follow breath because the book doesn't ever mention width. Okay, so in a drawing, this will be your 3D drawing. Okay, so this will be your length. This would be your breath, and this will be your height. So this is the same, the breadth. Okay, and that's the length over there. Okay, so um, in a cube, a cube is a perfect cuboid. So that means the length, the base, uh, the, the length, the breadth, and the height are all the same. So for a cube, it's side times side times side. So uh, in essence, the difference between a volume and the area is, in area, we're only multiplying two things because we're on two dimensions. Okay, but when in 3D or three-dimensional figures, then that means we're multiplying three things. Okay, so our, um, the book will also, by the way, call a side an edge. So this is a cube. Okay, this is the side. That side and that side are all the same. So that side. Okay, but a side, again, is also referred to as an edge. Okay, so the problem that I will be discussing is on page 163. So on page 163, it says, find the volume of a cube of edge 11 meters. Okay, so this is number two. So, a volume of a cube. So, again, if you want to succeed in math, every time you use a formula, you want to write it down. That's key to success. So, since this is a cube, it's side times side times side. Okay, and they say that the side or the edge is 11 meters. So, that means this will be 11 times 11 times 11. Okay, so... Assuming that the kids are allowed to use their calculator, when you multiply that out, it's 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay, since the, the unit of measurement of the side is in meters, the unit of volume will be cubic meter. So it's written like that, cubic meter. So if this unit of measurement of the side is in centimeters, then the unit of volume becomes cubic centimeters or centimeters cube. That concludes lesson three of chapter eight. See you in the next lesson.